how to set up Spotify with your Amazon Echo Dot device. First of all, we're going to open the app. It's this one right here. The one you see there, just search for it by that name in the App Store or Play Store, install it, set up your Amazon Echo Dot, and then simply tap here where it says Devices and you can configure it directly from there. Once it's set up, which I imagine you already have done, but if not, I'll upload a video on how to set it up from scratch. Now, let's set up Spotify. You're not going to set it up from the device itself. In other words, don't come here and look for your Echo, no. Instead, go directly here, to these three lines at the bottom, just left of Message Alexa. Tap there, then go to Music and More, which is right here, with a Musical Note icon. Here, you'll see songs you've recently listened to, if you've already used any app with your Echo. What you do here is go to the top right, where the gear icon appears, and here you're going to set up the default app, either for your family or for your devices, in case you have several profiles set up. In my case, I'm going to set it up for the family to show you how this is done. First of all, you need to come directly here to where it says Link Services, and what you're going to do is Link Spotify, which shows up over here. And in case this happens and the app doesn't show up, as you can see here, then what you do is tap where it says Link New Service, this option that appears here in blue, tap on it, and here you'll see all the available apps you can link to your device. In this case, we're going to link Spotify, and this is what will show up here. Here, we tap where it says Activate to Use. So we tap that blue button you see there, and what it will do is redirect us directly to our Spotify account so we can set it up. And here, what it will do is generate an authorization with the Spotify app. You might see a window pop up asking if you want to update it. If so, just click yes. And if it doesn't show up, it'll simply appear like it does here for me, saying authorizing. You need to wait a few seconds for this to finish loading. And once it's done, your Echo app will show it as already set up. As you can see here, after it loads for a few seconds, it will ask if you have an active Amazon device. Then you click yes and hit the green button that says link with device. And just wait a few more seconds for it to finish loading so it can be set up directly within the Echo app. It might be that in your case it stays loading for a while. So if you want, you can leave it like that and it doesn't matter. Because it will have been set up as soon as you click the link button. Go back to the Alexa app and you'll see this pop up. Then, go back to the three lines at the bottom, head to Music and More, and tap the gear icon. At the bottom, you'll see the app is already linked. As you can see, you just tap on it, and instead of Activate, it now shows you Settings and the option to disable this skill. And well, in this case, let's go back, and now it shows up here. Whenever you want to play music, you can do it by telling your device. Play X song on Spotify or Play X song on Amazon Music or whichever services you have. But if you don't want it to play on any other service except Spotify, then you need to go to the main section at the top and set default family services. Or if you have your own profile, here it says your default services. Here you would select which services you want to use Spotify. What you do is tap on it and here you'll see that Amazon is set as the default. Every time I say, play music, play a rock station, play my podcast. So, I'm going to tap change, and here what you can do is select the devices you have available, the services. You can select Amazon Music, IG Radio, or Spotify. For the family, I use Amazon Music, but for my personal profile, I have it set up directly. Well, it's a good thing I ran into this error, so I can show you how to fix it. If the same thing happens to you and you come here and the app you want doesn't show up, we simply go back to our Spotify app. Here we tap it, and now we tap settings, then we tap link account. Tap it several times if it doesn't load, then it redirects us directly to Spotify again, and now this appears. We tap agree, and it tells us setup is complete, then we tap close. Now it should show up as fully configured. Even if it looks same before, it doesn't matter. Now it should appear like this. And in fact, you'll get an email confirming Spotify has been set up. Alright, let's go back. 
We'll do the same thing. Go to default services and change this one. Now Spotify shows up. So every time I say play music, it won't use Amazon Music, IG Radio, or any other app, but will go straight to Spotify. You can do this with all your devices and across different profiles. For example, in this profile, notice it automatically set it so everything I do on my Amazon Echo Dot will play directly through Spotify. And this way, regardless of whether you have a free subscription or a paid one, you'll be able to play music. The only thing is, obviously, the free subscription has ads and doesn't let you play songs directly. Instead, it plays artist playlists or genre playlists, but not specific actions or songs. Mm -hmm.